out here in the garden today. Ken's doing some mulching. I'm doing some harvesting. And I thought I would do a garden tour because you guys have been asking for it. This year we have quite a few tomato plants. About 40 foot row of San Marzano. We also have beefsteak, heirloom tomatoes, and cherry tomatoes. And then all along here, we have snow peas, English peas, snap peas, and they're still producing fruit. Usually they're a little bit cooler crop, but we're just getting an abundance of them. So I'm out here picking again today. The tomato plants are so big, they're overgrowing the supports that we have. I think next year, I'm just gonna invest the money in those big Titan heavy duty tomato supports. They're a little expensive, but I think they'll last a lifetime. The tomato plants are just starting to put out some red fruit. You can see this grape tomatoes just starting to turn red there. Cannot wait. In fact, I might pick some tomatoes and make some fried green tomatoes today. <laughs> It sounds so good. In my first bowl, I have an egg and a fourth a cup of milk. I'm gonna beat this up. And then my second bowl, I have a cup of self-rising flour, a fourth a cup of cornmeal, a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix that together as well. I have the sliced green tomatoes in the egg batter. I'm gonna coat them with the flour and get them into a iron skillet with about three tablespoons of oil heating up. Just fry them up till they're golden brown. They're gonna be good. I sprinkled a little salt on it and these are so delicious. So, so delicious, what could I say? Fried green tomatoes. I have an abundance of peppers. We have all kinds, serrano, poblano, jalapeno, cayenne, the cherry peppers. I think we have some pepperoncinis. Might have a couple other varieties, but they're just starting to set fruit. I just harvested a couple of jalapenos. The poblanos are almost there, not quite ready to pick. I planted a lot of herbs this year because we got a late start to the garden. We thought we were going to be in Europe for 10 weeks and COVID hit. So I went ahead and I planted a lot of herbs to preserve them through the winter. Here we have a lot of thyme. We have rosemary, oregano, um, Mexican oregano flat leaf parsley, chives. The sage is looking really peaked. More peppers, chive, parsley. The dill has gone to seed. I need to get some refrigerator pickles or something going there. Over here, cilantro has gone to seed. Cilantro goes to seed so quick. When it heats up, it's pretty much already gone to seed. We have lettuce. And then I have a double row of basil. I want to do a lot of pesto. Put a lot of pesto up in the freezer. I've been growing a lot of herbs in the garden this year. And today I'm gonna preserve some of the basil by making some pesto and freezing it. I have about two cups of basil leaves, no stems, and then two tablespoons of pine nuts. I get them at Trader Joe's. I keep them in the freezer. They last a long time like that. Two large cloves of garlic, a half a cup of Parmesan, and a half a cup of olive oil. I've added the basil, pine nuts, and garlic to my blender. I'm just gonna slowly start adding the olive oil to the basil mixture. I'm just going to slowly drizzle it in.
The color looks so beautiful. Now I'm just gonna add the Parmesan cheese and just give it a quick blitz. I went ahead and I scooped out the pesto into just a tablespoon size. And I'm gonna get this in the freezer. I have it on parchment paper. And I just wanted to mention, if you didn't have pine nuts, walnuts are a good alternative. And then I just store the pesto in a Ziploc freezer uh, baggie and take out as much as I need throughout the year. I have been making a lot of compound butters. Like, um, I make a compound butter for roasting chicken. It has thyme, rosemary, chives, parsley, garlic. And so it's been really nice to come out here and just cut what I need and uh, make those compound butters, get them in the freezer for winter. The nice thing about having a garden is being able to harvest fresh herbs. I'm gonna harvest some of this parsley and some chives. I'll be making a compound butter. I just washed the flat leaf parsley and the little bit of chives that I harvested and I'm going to make a compound garlic butter using these herbs. I'm making some compound garlic butter. In my bowl I have one pound of softened butter and then I'm going to add some seasonings. I have a total of eight cloves of garlic finely minced, two teaspoons of kosher salt, the zest of one lemon, two tablespoons of fresh minced parsley, two teaspoons of fresh minced chives, uh, about a fourth a teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning, and then I'm gonna get this all mixed together. This is what the butter looks like after it's mixed together. I put half of the compound butter on a piece of plastic wrap, and I'm just gonna wrap it up And if you hold the ends and then just kind of twirl the package on the counter, it tightens it up. It forms a nice compact log. And then I'm gonna set that in the refrigerator to get firmed up. Over here we have some fresh tarragon. I like adding a little bit of that to a chicken salad. We have loose leaf lettuce. So I come out here and I'll take like five or six leaves from each plant pick them down the row until I get enough for supper. We have uh, marjoram here. These are some tomatillos. They're loaded in flowers and they're just starting to set their fruit. I don't know what happened to this row. The, the lettuce got seeded <laughs> really close to this row, but it seems to be working out pretty good. Ken's working over there, so I'll just kind of show you. We have some pumpkin, squash, zucchini, cucumbers, that kind of thing over there, as well as we planted potatoes, onions, and garlic. So that is about half of our garden bed. Like I said, we didn't uh, intend on having a garden this year, but we did get a few things in and can't wait for the tomatoes to come in. I'll can tomato sauce, and then we'll just have an abundance for eating. I might do some sun-dried tomatoes, put them up in olive oil as well. Ken is just doing some mulching. We do the back to eating garden style of gardening. We put on mulch throughout the season. It keeps the weeds down. I just keep it low maintenance as possible. Like I said, we probably, I don't know, maybe a third. I think we planted about a third of our bed um next year i got big plans for the garden <laughs> like every gardener next year is going to be the perfect garden but anyway that's a tour of our garden um i'll do a tour of our orchard and ken is actually putting in a infrastructure for a vineyard next week so i'll share that process with you guys and that's the big tour <laughs> of the vegetable garden. I wish it was a little bit better, but this is what we got going on this year. Like I said, next year, I'm going to have the perfect garden. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> anyway, until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later.